Hello everyone. I'll give you a quick walkthrough about this um, spiral spiral generator that I've been working on. Spiral slash sphere builder, so to speak. So on the right I've got a selection of parameters. So let's just say if I change the number of instances from 17 presently to let's just say 12. So now you see you have 12. You can make it 24. 24. You can also, so essentially this is like in you know, a spiral shape, so to speak. So currently there's one lap, so we can increase the number of laps. I don't know, make it two, three, increase the number of instances, 56, there you go. So if we bring the spiral laps back to one, also there's some other parameters like the final scale fraction, so currently set to 25, so if we make it 50, make the other one 50 as well. Right, so if we add some additional spiral arms, let's see, currently set to 0, so if we make that 1, 2, 3, 11, there you go, so we've got 11, actually make that 12. Okay, I'll drag this down a little bit give some more room to work with. Also, um, <clears throat> so if I add some depth to this, I'm going to make it minus 300. There you go. And also we can play around with the inner radius, currently set to 10%. Let's make that, I don't know, 30, 30%. Okay. So now we can have this rotating. So if we come down here, Let's have a look at the parameters. So rotation weight pitch. Let's just make that five and play. There you go. So it's rotating. So essentially there's two separate hierarchical instanced static mesh groups. So if we switch rotation pitch, each of these groups will rotate in the opposite direction. So this is the kind of um, effect that you might achieve. You can also play around with the scaling. So spiral 1 max size, let's just make that to 0 0.1.1 and min side 0 0.85. I don't know, let's see what it looks like now. There you go. So one of the HISMC groups is now dynamically scaling as it's rotating. So you have this really nice effect. Right, so let's just see what else we can do. We can play around with the initial roll angle. So let's just make this 90%. We just drag this so you can have a look at the parameters. Right, so spiral one roll angle start 90%. And if we make the offset for spiral one group, make that 90% as well. There you go. See so how this nice effect. You can also play around with the other one. So for the other group, if we make that 45%, 45 degrees, I should say, 45 degrees and 135 degrees. 135. There you go. Let's just play it now. So you can have these really nice cool effects. Let's just see what else we can do. If we increase the number of laps, spiral two. Let's play it now. Oh, that's interesting. If we make that 0 0.5. Yeah, I think we need more spiral arms. So if we make that 24, 26. So if we play this now, yeah, this is much better. So 
Let's see if we drag this forward, make a copy of this, and reduce the radius. So currently set to 200. Let's just make that 100. Uh, make the depth zero. Additional spirals. Let's just make that 12. Additional instances. Let's just make it 21. We'll reset the roll angles, so we'll make that all zero for both the groups. And we'll change the spiral mesh type from type 1 to type 2. Okay, just make this an inner radius. Just make that 10% instead of 30. Uh, let's just make it a bit smaller. Just make it 75 and also reduce the initial scale, make that 0 0.25. There you go. So now, if we drag this inside, let's see what it looks like now. There you go. So, you can have some really cool effects going on here. So what else can we do? So if we make another copy, drag this outwards, and change this, let's just make this, so okay, first thing we can do is additional spiral arms, make that zero. So now we've got only one spiral arm. Uh, the final scale, let's just make that 100. Final scale for group two, make that 100 as well. Inner radius fraction, we'll make that 100. And the spiral arm will make that one. And we'll change the type to, let's just say, type three, type four. Type four is good. We'll increase the outer radius. Let's just make that 250. Uh, 250 is too much. Let's just make it 200 instead. We want 75, and we'll bring this forward like this. We'll increase the scale, so make that 0 0.5. And for the other one, let's just make it a bit larger for some variation. Just make that 0 0.6. Okay, so this is what we have. You can also play around with the colors. So let's just see what we can do about the colors. So, spiral one color, let's just give it a full red bias. And we'll reduce the blue amount, make it 100. And for the two, we'll make it give it a green bias, uh, reduce the blue amount as well, or reduce the, let's say, let's say reduce the red amount. Okay, and we'll deselect switch rotation pitch, and we'll increase, we'll lower the rota rotation rate, pitch rate. So let's just play it now. Okay, so we got a feature like this. So you can combine them, have various different features. I mean, I've got a couple of, maybe three, three or four different um, demo videos set up that I'll add in the description below, so you can check them out. They have some really nice, cool, psychedelic effects. Uh, those the, like this are uh, some really complex shapes that you can work around with. Um, let's just see if we can drag this out a bit more. Better type one. Right, let's let's try type three. Lower the initial spiral scale. Let's just make that zero point two five. Zero point two five. Increase the number of instances. Let's just make it 30, I don't know, 37. 37 is good. And now what we can do is we can disable this checkbox here. Enable spiral depth. We'll uncheck that. Drag it out a bit forward. 
and now see if we can make a sphere shape out of this. So these, so these two groups are spiral shapes that could be like considered like a circle shape and now we can make a sphere shape out of this. So for sphere shapes the first thing we have to do is spiral arm your angle. Let's just make that 180 degrees for starters. And we'll see if we can have some additional spirals. So it's a two there you go, so two. I'm gonna make that three, four, five. Okay, and there's something else that we can do. So if we increase the spiral outer shift fraction, make that 1.5. Hmm, actually, no, let's just make it 0 0.75. Or 0 0.5. Let's just make that 0 0.5. So we have a sphere within a sphere. Okay, and let's just reduce the initial scale a bit further. 0.1. Make that 0.1. And lower the radius. Just make it 50. Well, 50 is a bit too much. Make it 75. Okay, that's good. So if you drag this inside, maybe like here. lower the spiral scale a bit more, make it 0 0.075, 0 0.075. And now, instead of pitch, we want yo. So we'll make pitch 0, and we'll switch a rotation yo as well. Let's just make it a bit larger. It's too small. 100. And we'll increase the number of instances. Make it 67 instead. Alright, so let's play it. Let's see what it looks like now. Nice. Alright, so this should give you a quick intro to this kind of blueprint generator that I've been working with. I'll make more videos and give you a more detailed walkthrough of what I've been working with this. Alright, okay, take care.